here with Timothy F Timothy Bean from Fordham Technologies. Hi, Steve. Hi, and uh, I'd like to uh, have you talk to us about your new uh, drone hunter technology. All right. Well, thank you, Steve. So, um, what Fordham has built, uh, the core of the drone hunter is our TrueView radar system. So, this small radar weighs less than a pound and a half, 37 watts, is really engineered to make drones autonomous. So you've heard of autonomous cars, self-driving cars. Well, the radar is put into the drones to make the drones autonomous. And so what we've built is a drone hunter, and there's a little video here behind Steve that explains and shows how the radar works and can track objects in the sky. Most people, what we sell today is the radar. So people will buy the radar system and put it on their own drone. Like this is not our drone, this is a DJI M600 drone. And, um, and so it's just a demo to kind of show how the radar works. And so how the radar works is it can see thousands of objects at you know, a very long range, you know, simultaneously as it's flying at a 120 degree field of view. And so that allows when you're sitting at your um, desk at home and you click to say, deliver me those shoes in 15 minutes, it allows the, the, uh, the drone with our radar to fly beyond visual line of sight. What this means is there's no longer a person with a joystick. There's no longer a person following part 107 rules that the FAA has mentioned. Yes. And so you don't have humans with the eyes on the drones. The drones are able to fly autonomously and give you that pizza or that package. Also able to do search and rescue or working agriculture and do all the many benefits to society that we envision with drone in the new drone economy. And so what we're announcing today here at CSS is this radar, the Fordham TrueView radar, that provides this uh, beyond visual line of sight capability. So, Timothy, um, a couple questions. Is this the radar unit itself right here? Absolutely. Yes, that's the radar itself that's available today that we sell commercially to, um, it's been in trials for the last year with lots of customers and we think we've, we've got a good case now to work with the FAA to prove the safety case for people to be able to deliver their applications. And what was the range of the radar again? The range, yeah, the range of the radar is 1,500 meters for large aircraft. You can see smaller drones, about, to about 500 to 750 meters, depending on their orientation. And can you tell me what these two devices, these circular devices below are? Yes, these two circular devices are a net gun. What we did is, just for demonstration purposes, we put the radar on a standard DJI Phantom, I mean, sorry, DJI M600, and we attached a net gun to it, so the video behind you can kind of show the radar tracking at an accurate enough level to be able to shoot a drone down and tow it away with a net gun. So this is a potential use of your radar for counter drone, uh, drones that are flying in places they should not be. Yeah, in the future, what we see is in a drone world with seven million drones in the sky, we really need to solve for the problem as a society of careless, clueless, or criminal drones flying where they shouldn't be. And so this is a proof of concept product that we believe will be available towards the second half of this year to patrol an airspace and be able to uh, tow away a drone that's in a place where it shouldn't be. So this is not for your normal commercial or your uh, consumer use drone. This is for professionals who may need to do something that is being performed illegally with a drone? Yeah, so this is not sold to individuals or consumers. This is sold to people protecting a border, protecting a critical infrastructure, uh, people protecting a stadium, those types of things that want to patrol an airspace at high, high altitude. Who do you see your customers being here? Uh, anybody that has critical infrastructure, data centers that want to protect against corporate espionage or IP spoofing, people that are doing you know trials out in the desert that don't want drones around spying on them, so these types of commercial users that are working with law enforcement professionals, because right now shooting down drones out of the air is not legal in the U.S., right? Um, there's laws that will be coming into play this year, we believe, that um, um, allow the right of privacy, right of self-defense, the, the right to imminent threat to life or harm to trump some of the FAA statutes that are out there today. The FAA statutes today say that you can't shoot down aircraft, the Piracy Act, and so, what's that? The, the radar can distinguish between birds and drones. 
Yeah, we've seen that. Those birds are about $150,000, and sometimes they don't do what you want them to do. So you got to be a little careful with them. And you got to feed those birds. And you have to feed the birds. So, uh, one more question about the technology. What is the power source for this radar? So the, the power source for the radar, off the back of the radar, there's an Ethernet as well as a serial, and it just gets its power from the battery on the drone. Okay, gotcha. And uh, when do you envision this being available to use potential users of the device? Yeah, the radar is available today. So that's what we're announcing here at the show. Great. But it, so the licensing still needs to come into play to, to be able to use this device. Is that correct? Radar is a license to technology. And so we're using a frequency in the KU band that falls into air-to-air -air operations. And so our customers that deploy this on their drones for their operations, we work with them to get that appropriate license. Very good. Well, Timothy, this has been very interesting. I appreciate your time. And I hope to see these... Oh, yeah. Where, if people wanted to learn more about this, where would they go? Yeah, FordhamTech.com. F-O-R-T-E-M-T-E-C-H. Thank you, Timothy. Appreciate it. Thanks. Good luck.